And now, around the world and around the corner, it's the David Bowers Awards, bringing the best in indie music to millions of listeners worldwide with your host, the David Bowers. We've got a fantastic lineup of guests, as well as our engineer extraordinaire, Nick the Geek, our entire crew here at the Asylum, and me, I'm John Bon Jovial. And now, here's the voice of indie music, the David Bowers. Thank you very much once again, the legendary John Bon Jovial, and welcome everyone to the only show where we share chats with the artists whose music we feature on each show and we have a loaded show for you today we're going to have a lot of fun and a lot of good music and we're going to start right now with these guests uh, we'll talk about them afterwards they call themselves izzy's caravan and this is on the pull and here we go
complete our never-ending quest to bring you the best in indie music from all around the world, ladies and gentlemen. That's On the Pull by Izzy's Caravan from Pakistan. Yes, you heard me right. I said Pakistan. They're a blues rock outfit with an international flair. Can trace their roots directly to dire straits, money for nothing, and all the usual suspects, of course. Uh, Guitar and vocalist is, of course, Izzy. And he started his musical journey by forming a three-piece band back in 2004, then became disillusioned with the music industry. <laughs> who hasn't? Yeah, who hasn't? Another. <laughs> he took a decades-long respite from guitar and eventually returned to the instrument he loved just a few years ago. In December this past year, 2019, Izzy's Caravan released the EP Leo's Guitar, followed in February by another EP, Zephyr's. And his next EP, which is entitled On the Pole, the title track of which you just heard, is scheduled for July 17th of this year and uh, will be released on MTS Records. Our friend Michael and uh, all the gang over at MTS is, he says, this is a definite back to the blues record and uh, says it. He wants it to be. He wants to try and push the boundaries a bit in terms of the lyrical themes as well. We'll be looking forward to the sounds coming out in July with Izzy's Caravan. Uh, they do have some music out right now, which you can uh, you can find on the internet and uh, check out for yourself. As I said, the album on the pull or the EP will be coming out July seventeenth. And uh, we're going to get started because we've got a lot of stuff coming up and a lot of interesting talk with some great people. So we're going to get things rolling right now. Our first guest is going to be an old friend of ours, Anthony Z. Donaldson from upstate New York, a promoter, entrepreneur, music man, and uh, just an all-around great guy. And he's bringing us some uh, some new music this week, as well as going to talk about uh, about what's going on in the music industry and he always brings us some interesting music. This time, he's not only bringing us the music, but he's bringing us the artist that made it. So let's listen right now to the Ryan Matter Band and Top of the Line. I say to Mama, don't know, but she traces you funny. Friend who will tell you so I travel around trying to make some extra money Fascinate how like I'm a rolling in dough Well, I don't know what the good book says But when I go home Wanna go to the top of the line That's where I'm going, yeah See, I'm going, yeah Said I'm going to the top of the line Sugars, they can wait their turn Just like I waited mine Then you'll find that somewhere down this road You're gonna find that there is one way to get there You see, I don't know what the good book says But when I go home Wanna go to the top of the line That's where I'm going, yeah Sometimes he gets lucky I give him my money And sometimes he wins He says, give me your money I feel lucky He says, give me your money I think I can win Well, I don't 
know what the good book says But when I go home want to go to the top of the line That's where I'm going, yeah See, I'm going, yeah Said I'm going to the top of the line That's right, I'm going Top of the line. That's the Ryan Matter Band, and he'll be joining us in just a second. First, we're going to bring in our old friend Z, who uh, presents us with this great music and is also going to be talking a little bit about what's going on in the music world and, and perhaps a little of what could be going on in just a moment. Z, hello there. How are you? DB, it's good to hear from you, old friend. How's things, man? Hey, we're hanging in there with the best of them. Glad to have you back on board with us. I understand you've been doing a little onboard work, uh, and we'll get to that in a little bit. But I'll tell you what, why don't you introduce your uh, your buddy Ryan Matter, who's standing by just waiting. Well, Dave, a couple of weeks ago you asked to send up some uh, local artists from the CNY, so I gave you a whole list of them, and right at the top of the list was my good friend, Ryan Matter, that song you just played top of the line, that song makes me want to grab a couple bottles of whiskey and drive right to Vegas and start gambling, I'll tell you. But here's my hey, listen, friend Ryan Swing by, Matter, swing by the me. Phoenix area first, and I'll ride with you. <laughs> you you're right. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Is Ryan with us? Yeah, Ryan's yeah. here. Hello, Ryan. Hey, how's it going, guys? Hey, it's going all right. Now, I don't think I, I don't think you can hear each other, can you? Uh, I could hear him, but I don't know if we could hear each oh, other at the same okay. time. Okay, then, can Ryan, you can hear line. Z, too? Okay, yep. great. Jump in. Uh, take it away, Z. <laughs> so Ryan and I connected a few, uh, maybe a couple years back, where uh, we have this thing called, in CNY, it's called the Animal Jam, and it's a benefit for the Stephen Swan Humane Society, which, which is the local animal shelter. And Ryan right. has been so gracious in donating his time to the cause for the animals for a couple of years now. And that's actually how Ryan and I first linked up. And of course he's been a guest on my podcast, EC radio, which you can find on disruption network. Ryan's got Absolutely. a great story too. He's, he's originally from Los Angeles and uh, he moved to upstate yeah. New York and, and he's been rocking the CNY music scene for a couple of years now. Ryan, now how long have you been in central New York? Uh, let's see. I got up here. It's uh, I'm on my third year, third year up here. And uh, when I first got up here, I was, uh, doing the solo acoustic thing and then um, put a band together and been after it pretty much, uh, let's see, uh, I would say two and a half years now is uh, when I put the band together. So we, uh, feel, we've done, I feel like you've been here for years. Oh, I, you know, <laughs> well, you know it, uh, unique, this year, this really year it feels like Ryan I've been here for years because I haven't played in so long. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan and I were talking about this uh, yesterday or the day before, and uh, the fact that uh, not only is that a reversal of form, usually people go from you know upstate New York to Hollywood if you went the opposite route. And, uh, of course, I had gone, I've been there and back again, but uh, that's a whole other story. But it's, uh, it's an interesting thing. We've, we've almost crossed paths several times over the years between going back and forth, and, of course, my time in Southern California. But, uh, Ryan, tell us a little bit, if you would, please, about your your music, your your thoughts that go into it, and, you know, wh where you, where it's taking you. Um, I mean, really, um, most of my songs are written um, about me. Um, life experiences that I've gone through or things that I've seen, and, um, you know, it's... Uh, I've always just kind of been the type of person that uh, if you can't write a song that, that's going to have feeling to it, you know, I'm not much for, I don't really listen to a lot of music anymore because it just doesn't have, I, I don't connect to it. And uh, so as a songwriter, I try to write songs that connect to people. And, um, you know, I, I feel like when I sit down to write one, I uh, usually if it, if, it, if, it, if it hits something in my nerve, then I know I'm like onto something and I'm like, all right, we can work on that. And then uh, sure. I usually just try to go from there. 
Um, you know, uh, as far as most of that stuff, like, I mean, most of my influences really start coming out in the music, especially, uh, I was actually in the middle of mixing, uh, uh, one of my new songs. Um, we've been, uh, redoing some of my, uh, my back catalog. We've been redoing it with the new band because when I first did mm -hmm. it, it was in studio with studio music.